Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. Um, when I say another journal, I already made this journal, um, but I've changed the cover and added a few bits more to it. So it was a journal from a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I weren't overly keen on the cover and anyway, I thought I would redo it. Um, I'll show you, I think I've got the original cover. It was just this textile cover. So I've just taken the the journal out of it i'll probably use it for something else and maybe cover it more it was a lovely cover but i preferred what i've done now so it's the bird themed journal I'll do a quick flip and i also want to say that all my journals in my shop um at the moment will be reduced until the end of tomorrow which is which will be the um friday the first of april and no it's not april fools <laughs> um i've just got them all on reduced price until the end of tomorrow so anyway with the cover, I used some Artie Mays, that's a freebie, top and bottom there. And then this is some William Morris, done stitching all around it. Um, and then I added this little topper, which has got fabric and cheesecloth. And behind there, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's one of the Tim Holtz flowers um, from the dyes, which is this dye. And it's called Wildflowers, Wildflower Stems 2, just in case anyone is interested. Um, <clears throat> So I put that behind and the journal measures, um, where's my notes? It's uh, eight and a quarter by four and a half, one signature, 52 pages front and back. And like I said, it will be listed in my shop. This will be reduced in price as well. Um, got some little mother of pearl buttons here on the dangles. That wasn't on the one before. So you're probably thinking i've seen this journal <laughs> yes you have if you've watched the video so we've got a pocket here with some crocheted trim inside there we have just a little tag using scrappy pieces and edith holden and then i just added this tag there these are from artie Maisie's uh number and tickets kit then here we've got a little flap there with some lace on there some again bits from Artie Mays I think that might be a freebie and that is from the um, tickets and numbers kit um, some fabric on here there is lots of journal space this is from Artie Mays's um, what are they called now the vintage letters um, that she's got a kit on as well then here we've got some lace I've used that as a pocket and <clears throat> In the pocket, we have some ephemera there. That again, that's from Artie Mays. And this is uh, like a little full envelope, which you just print out and cut out and you can um, glue or stitch around the sides. Little booklet made with some Edith Holden. And some tea or coffee dyed papers, can't remember. Little Edith Holden corner tuck there. The back page is some French ephemera, little label there. I don't know if that's from Artie Mays or Tracy Fox. It's one of the two. Some more French ephemera and coffee dyed, tea dyed, one of the two. Another Edith Holden birdie tag there and another stamps tag. Then here we have a lace pocket, a little Edith Holden booklet just like that and that pops in there I'll do it the other way around because it holds better because of the flap then we have another little pocket some lace trim uh, this is Artie Maisie's letter kit as well and some lacy fabric and this is from Bohemian Crafting centre of the signature <clears throat> I just added two more tags to this the other stuff was already in it from previous the previous video these are all from Artie Mays this is French ephemera and I think I printed these on copy paper and so that it kind of look like felt it authentic because when you do get authentic stuff it's very very thin so that's the buttons and another uh, positive quote tag it's, it's not it's a stamp tag i was uh, just thinking because it is positive um sentiments artie maze has got a kit with uh, tags and journal cards called positive uh journal cards and tags some more french ephemera from artie maze little check there i think and a little 
French ephemera piece. That goes in there. <clears throat> and we've got more journal space, little flip. And some lace trim on here. Little birdies are from Artie Mays. Another lace pocket. That's another envelope, like a full envelope from Artie Mays. And that goes in there. Some more, uh, like a, is that a postcard thing? I think. <laughs> a thing. Little booklet there using some Edith Holden. Just popped on the bird image there from Artie Mays, the birdies. <clears throat> Another tuck here, corner tuck with some more French ephemera. Love the noise from that. Really nice if you like that kind of thing. And another tag. They're just very simple tags. Just used up some scraps and some birds. Another stamped tag. Uh, I've held that one in with a paper clip. Uh, it's another Edith Holden little booklet. And that goes in there. <clears throat> Paper clip just holds it so it doesn't fall out. Little flip, some Tracy tags there, I believe. And oh, that doesn't want to move. There we go, my fingers don't want to work. Some lace trim, birdie, another pocket there, <clears throat> and another stamped tag, and another birdie, Edith Holden tag. And that is the back. So yeah, I prefer, much prefer this cover myself um, than the other one. Just sometimes you just do stuff, don't you? And then you can always change it afterwards. So, like I said, this will be listed in my shop. I was going to quickly show you, I'm not going through them, but I will link the videos below. There's this one, Chunky. Again, that is reduced. I made these yesterday. These are spring mist um, little kind of like folio type books. Um, put the video to that below and um, I made this one the other day that is reduced as well and I've still got one of these available it's just a little mini uh, beautiful birds book with a little ephemera pack I will link the video to that and oh, I can't move because I'm attached <laughs> I'm attached to my phone and my earphones and everything anyway I've st and I've got some of the chunky um blank journals as well and I'll put the the link to that below and um yeah so if you're interested in any of these they will be reduced till the end of April 1st 2022 um and they're already reduced for you you don't need a code or anything like that please read everything on the um on the website um <clears throat> and yeah so there we go so i hope you're having a great day and i will speak to you all soon bye